Hi there, and welcome back to the M5 Stack official channel. I'm Luke, and in this series of videos, we're looking at the Faces kits. So far, we've had a look at the calculator and the joystick, and how to program some simple programs on those. This week, we're going to be looking at the Faces encoder module. The encoder has a wheel on the front, which can check its position, whether it's going clockwise or anti-clockwise and change a variable based on that. I thought that we could make a simple Etch-a-Sketch toy, like the one you may have played as a kid. It works similar to this. We can change direction with the A and B buttons and then control the line with the encoder. Before I show you how we can make a Etch-a-Sketch program with the Faces Encoder kit, I want to talk about how you can enter our competition. There's lots of prizes you can win. You could win any of the Faces Kits modules or a 300 US dollar voucher for our store. Let's have a look at how we can sign up on the Hackster.io webpage. First thing you need to do to go about entering into the M5 Stack Faces competition is to go to hackster.io slash M5 Stack. And you'll need to make your own account for hackster.io as well. You can see here already we have a bunch of entries in here, Faces competition. So we can start by clicking on your icon and then going to My Dashboard. Okay, so we go to My Dashboard, and once we're in My Dashboard, then we can go and click Create a New Project. Here we can give it a short title. And a short description as well. and then choose a cover image. Upload your image. Okay. And now we can go to add some information. If you're not the only one partaking in the project, you can add other members here. We can add what components we used if we're using which particular um, faces kit. We need to make sure that we include this here. You could do a general one with faces pocket, or if you're using the encoder panel, joystick panel, panel, etc., you can add those. Software, hand tools if it's a more of a DIY project, and then in story we want to make we want you to make this as descriptive of, as possible the ones that are more likely to win the competition are those that have give uh, a good a description on how to make this uh, m5 stack faces project you can include such things as youtube videos pictures links to uh, additional information etc then once you've done that then uh, upload your code either link your github or paste the code in there if you've got any schematics diagrams any CAD for 3d printed parts etc and then once you've done that you can then go to publish so generally uh, Hackster.io will only allow you to publish if you have fil fulfilled certain requirements such as a picture sufficient information you have a few choices here we can tag it with say home automation perhaps these are sort of the general tags difficulty how much time it's going to take license it and then make sure to choose that it's discoverable and then click save changes 
Once you've finished your project, make sure to share it on your social media channels uh, with the hashtag M5Stack and then you'll be in a much better chance of getting your project seen and then you can get into the competition. Look forward to see your projects. Now let's have a look at the code for the encoder Etch-a-Sketch. Okay, here we are in Flow. Make sure you're in the beta version and you have 1.3.4 firmware. So to start with, let's have a look at the encoder and what kind of modules it has. So the encoder has a ring of LEDs around the knob and we can control the position of these with this block. Here we have clear encoder value to zero. So we could set this no matter how far around we turn it, uh, we can set that back to zero no matter what position it's facing at. Get encode value, so the current value of the encoder uh, get encode direction, so um, we can tell if the encoder is be tur being turned clockwise or anti-clockwise, counterclockwise, whatever you want to call it. And then is encode press, so you have a button basically in the center of the encoder knob, so this will return a 0 or a 1 depending on with whether we press it or not. Um, mostly in this lesson we're going to be using the direction. If we see the uh, encode value we can start by setting these out in uh, some labels so we can get the readout of uh, what they're doing. So I'll set label 1 to be showing the encoder's value and then label 2 can show the direction of the encoder. So for the encoder direction it will either show for a 0 if it's going clockwise or a 1 if it's going the opposite direction. Okay so what I'm going to do I'm going to set up some variables first. Um, we basically want to know um, we want to set um, the pixel in the graphics library to be our line so we need to create some variables to hold its position so I'm just going to make a X position and a Y position and I would like my drawing to start in the middle of the screen so I'm just going to set this to to the middle of the screen which is 160 on the horizontal axis and then on the vertical or y-axis I'm going to set it to 120 okay and then to start off with to make sure no matter which direction our encoder is pointing we want it to be zero so in setup we'll set it to clear to zero okay now we're going to need the logic part of our program, a bunch of ifs and else ifs. I'm going to add a lot in here. So, firstly, uh, what we want to do is uh, we can set the encoder to control the the position, but because we can only turn two directions, that only gives us maybe minus in the x direction, plus in the x direction. So we're going to need to use some buttons to basically change between the X and the Y control. So I'm going to go into buttons here and get the A is pressed. And in here I will get the um, AND. So what I'm going to do is if the A is pressed AND get encode direction is equal to zero. It's heading in the clockwise direction. Where are we? Okay. Equals. Then we will change x position by one. Okay. 
and then the reverse of that obviously would be to uh, if the a is pressed and the direction is one then change x position by minus one so I will have our uh, horizontal positioning and then we can repeat this but with B for um, the vertical okay and this time we change of instead of changing the X position we change the Y position okay and of course we don't want our line to get drawn off of the screen so we're going to need to set some limits here so um, we can check if um, we know that the maximum screen area of uh, the M5 stack is 320 on the x-axis and 240 on the y-axis so here we can set 320 so if x position is more than or equal to 320 then we just um, we just set that back to 320 so then we prevent it from going any further than the edge of the screen okay and then obviously we'll need to do the opposite of that um, to prevent it going off the screen on the left hand side so less than and equal to zero then set the X position to zero and also we'll repeat this for the Y direction as well okay and uh, so now we can prevent it from going off the screen and um, to draw that line on the screen we're going to be instead of using line we'll just use pixel and basically the pixel will keep updating outside of the if loop if loop and then we'll we'll pass the variables x pos uh, where are we x position and y position and then we can change whatever color we want maybe we want a nice yellow or just leave it on plain white and then lastly to give it that kind of authentic etch-a-sketch feel uh, we can add uh, some accelerometer functionality so that when we shake the device then the LCD is cleared so if you've not used the uh, accelerometer um, before you might just want to play around with the values uh, we can find it here in hardware's IMU and I'm going to be say shaking it in the X direction so we'll compare here if the X acceleration is more than the acceleration X acceleration is more than 1.5 so usually if you just leave it on the table flat, it will give values of 0 point, 0 0.1, 0 0.2, whatever. Uh, it's never perfectly on a zero. Um, but when it starts to move, you'll get values higher um, based on the acceleration of the device. So let's have a look here. We want it to sort of have that range there, so we will duplicate this and then okay so if it's less less than minus 1.5 okay so when we shake the device then all we need to do is add the LCD clear block in here and then it will clear the screen Okay, that's it for our super simple Faces Encoder Etch-A-Sketch program. Uh, let's give it a go and see if it works. There we have it, a simple Etch-A-Sketch program for the Faces Encoder kit.
If you have any other ideas for this kit or any of the other FACES kits, make sure to sign up for our competition. If you like this video, make sure to like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.